the beat of New York. 103.5 KTU. Miley Cyrus Yay! is here! Hey, thank you. This is like a dream. It's like surreal, right? I know, right? We're, we're such big fans. Welcome to KTU, Miley. Thank you very much. Thank and you for having me. Congratulations. We are loving Malibu, baby. Thank you so, so much. And you have such a great story about how the song came about. Yes. It, like riding in a car, basically. Yes. I write a lot of songs in the car, and uh, people in LA, that's how they know that I do really live in Malibu, because I'm always in the car. In traffic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, forever away yeah. from anything. Right. Uh, so on the way to the dentist, like whatever's going on that day, I can just write in the car, because I'm guaranteed a good two-hour trip. Unbelievable. And and um, yeah, so I wrote this song in the car, but I am a horrible driver. And as I've gotten older, I'm getting more and more scared of my driving. I used to just be like fearless. I I thought I had aced with flying colors, my driving test. Liam right. reminded me that I failed like twice. <laughs> I always thought that I walked out with the license. He was like, I don't know wh what lie like got into your head that makes you believe that. So I'm a horrible driver. The question's um, all hard. They're, they're, they are kind of hard. They really are. Yeah. I, when you look like, back it's at the it. physical test right. that, I, that I flunked. Oh, oh, wow. I flunked the physical. Part. All right. And um, so then, yeah, I, I finally was like, okay, on the way to The Voice, I got to get there safely. So I went in a car with a driver. And so the dude was driving me and I didn't want him to like hear me singing in the back seat because I just thought that would be embarrassing. And right. like, I didn't want him to hear my lyrics, you know, they're like some intimate stuff. And um, so I was like having to write it in silence, like in my head the whole time. And then I couldn't really know what it was going to sound like until I got to my dressing room and everyone was in there and I got it. I, I, my mom and everyone at The Voice that day was there and I just said, hey, listen to the song I wrote in the car and everyone liked it and then I never would have thought that now I'd be here. That's why it feels like a dream. You asked me how I'm doing. Yeah. I said, I'm living the dream. You really I just are. can't believe that I was in the car writing this song about the beach and now I'm here and trying to Tell everyone to if it wasn't for it. traffic, yeah. you wouldn't have I a hit know. song. God bless the traffic. <laughs> that's like that's like Jay Z status though, because you know they always say that like Jay Z never wrote down his songs. He would always like have them in his head. So, yeah. You know, I mean, now we can just say that Miley Cyrus and Jay Z. You know, you guys have something in common. We right. do. Yeah. But now yeah. I, <laughs> I saw the video and I loved it. Having been to Malibu, I thought it really like captures the essence of it. Thank you. But I do have to ask you like. The dog in the video. Is that your That's dog? My dog. That's my really? dog. So do you have to pay your dog? That's Emu. Look, I, I had to pay him in this tattoo <laughs> after the video to thank him for his work. The dog joined I after. Emo's so you tattooed. thanked him for his work with the tattoo. I thank him for his work with the tattoo. But he, I also thank him for his work by he has no rules. Right. Um, all the other dogs. I say I have seven dogs. So I say that there's no favorites. But um, like when I'm, you know. I do kind of let him do whatever he wants. Like I don't the see other tattoos ones, of the other the six. The other ones, it's true. <laughs> I, have one, I have one of my other dogs, but he passed away, and that so it doesn't Aww. really count. But I, I have a dog named Bean. I do want to get like a little Bean Bean. Yeah. Um, my dog named Mary Jane. I want to get a tattoo for her. I do want to get them all, but Emu just happened to be the first because well, you know, I call him Perfect, and like I'll, I'll say, "Come here, Perfect," and then I say, "Come here, my king," and then I say, "Come here." Ma I call him Master because I'm like his pet. And he's my <laughs> master. Um, yeah, he's. He's a prince. You sound like Cubby because Cubby has 15 cats. I thought you had no. the most well, animals on the planet. You're my dream. Yes. Right, here we go. You're my he favorite you. person I've ever We have met five of life. our own cats, but my, my wife and I foster kittens. So we have you one room. You are my angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I was looking up if you liked cats, and you do like cats, too. I love cats. I, I have love cats. both. But I have cats, yeah, but have they cats don't too. get along with the dogs, so they live in, they have a cat house. They have like a, right. we have like a little guest house, and now anyone that stays there has an intense, my mom's really allergic. Oh, yeah. So yeah. when she stays, she gets all like puffy and can't breathe. Oh, But it's worth it to have the cats. Yeah. <laughs> My mom being able to breathe versus cats. <laughs> right. Cats, cats. Day. <laughs> oh, So real quick, uh, back to Malibu. Who's like the most random person to reach out to you uh, regarding your new song? Like, Well, it's really famous. weird because now all of a sudden everybody you meet's from Malibu and they'll like sound like they're from Wisconsin or something. Right. And they're like, I was born and raised in Malibu. And it's just like, I don't believe you like at all. Right. Or like a really strong Canadian accent. And they try to convince me that they're from Malibu. Um, Has anybody famous though hit you up? Going, Lord Man, props, wrote something props. really cool that was really awesome. Lord. She said it reminded her of Paul Simon's Graceland, that it was the oh place that wow. we want to leave. Quite the I know, I felt like that was a little over the top, but well, it yeah. was really nice. <laughs> Accept uh, it. Accept the good uh, Yeah, exactly. Um, and I'm a big Paul Simon fan, so that was very, very cool. Um, and Katy Perry has, like, she just been a friend of mine for a long time. We were actually just realizing that next year we'll have been friends for 10 years. I think wow. that's my Gosh. friend that I've known the longest, which that's is cool. really, really well, weird. And in LA, that's very like a rare. really long time. Because yeah. when she came out with I Kissed a Girl, 
I was doing the Hannah Montana movie and I heard her <laughs> on the radio. They said, who'd you write that about? And she said me. And I was on a four wheeler actually. My dad has this four wheeler. This is how hillbilly we are. We got a radio like <laughs> attached to the four wheeler. And I heard it and I started screaming and freaking out. And then uh, she asked me to go to the VMAs with her. That's when I started doing my whole VMA controversy. Right, right, right. Nice. Right. That's I'll go with Katy Perry. And uh, she took me, but my mom like didn't want me to go by myself. So, you know, stranger danger. So my mom went with me in the limo with Katy Perry. Um, and my mom didn't really get the joke. She just thought it was cool that I got to go with Katy Perry. And then, um, yeah, so that's that's how we met. And, I uh, love we just it. I love friends. your mom. She's a martyr. She goes over. She's allergic to cats. She's yeah. like, go to the <laughs> yeah, so with Katy Perry. My mom is ride or die. She's mom goals. Yeah. Well, now, we had a bunch of listeners so excited about you coming in. And so we wanted to do a little bit of a rapid fire, if that's okay with cool, you. Cool, let's do it. Okay, so Ariana from East Rutherford, New Jersey, wants to know, a bunch of news organizations have called you the perfect pick to play Madonna in the upcoming biopic. Would you do it? I think that's a huge, huge compliment. Um, I don't know. I don't know. If she asked me, I probably couldn't turn down Madonna. But you know what? Paris Jackson would be a great Madonna because they've been they've been taking mm. pictures of her. Have you seen her doing yeah. like, yes. all her covers? She looks so much like Madonna that it kind of freaks me out sometimes. Yeah, uh, she'd totally. be great. I think they should cast her. I think I'm the wrong. Well, no, don't give up the job. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I mean, we've already it. given I think it Paris to Jackson you. Can do it. She looks so much like Madonna. It's really really crazy. Uh, Josh from Syosset, New York, wrote in. He says, if you had to do a duet with any of your voice co stars, who and why? Too tough? No, uh, well, it ain't gonna be Blake. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm Nikki. Um, probably Adam. Me and Adam are really close, especially now that he just got the boot because now Alicia's gone. So now Alicia's gone, and I don't really know Jennifer Hudson. She's about to come on, right. so I'm excited to like team up with her for sure. Basically, three against Blake. That's okay. Like, that's mm -hmm. anything much against Blake. Anything against Blake. Yeah. But he's just the nicest guy in the world. But it's just really fun to like kind of mess with him. Well, he's got he a good sense so, of humor. Yeah, he's so easy about it, and yeah. he's like he doesn't really respond. <laughs> Right. <laughs> takes it. So, uh, it's really fun. Nadia from North Bergen wants to know, what's the one hit you've made that you don't like performing anymore? Wrecking Ball. Oh, my gosh. If Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll do it. I'll do it. But I don't love it. Wow. Okay. I don't love Fair it. Fair enough, yeah. though. It's but... like, like when you're like so stoked on something, you're so happy, and then you have to go sing a song that's about like a big bummer. Right. You know, and then I can never live down that I licked a sledgehammer. Right. <laughs> like people, it was very funny. They were like, there was a meme going around that said, how come it's sexy when Miley Cyrus does it, but when I do it, I get kicked out of Home Depot. Right. <laughs> yeah, that, I saw that. I think I posted that, actually. Yeah. I love that one. All right, last one. Kylie from Connecticut wants to know, what artist in the pop music world do you look up to the most and why? Oh, dang. Uh, I probably have to say Katie, one, just because she's my friend, slash two, I love all her political work. I think she was the first one to start going out and um, campaigning for Hillary Clinton, and I kind of followed her lead, so I think that was very cool of her, and I think she makes politics a part of pop, which it should be, yeah. part of culture. Totally. No, I think she's got a lot of it. She uses her voice that's so powerful and it definitely influences a lot of people. Yeah. We are so excited to have you at RK to Euphoria. You are our special guest. Thank Every you. time we June say 3rd. the lineup, we yeah. say special guest Miley Cyrus. Now, Yay. is there any way that you can give us a hint as to what you're going to be doing? Will you perform Malibu? Oh, yes. Okay. For sure. For sure. For sure. And we've been doing Jolene and that's been wow. going over awesome, which people really like that one. And I always, you know, it's fun to perform Dolly because she inspired so much of this record for oh. sure. So. Our lineup is right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's small. But do you know, uh, of course, you know the Backstreet Boys. Have you ever worked with them? Um, no, but actually AJ took a picture with my friend's dog when we were just at another show and like we freaked out because he <laughs> retweeted it and we were all screaming. That's my only claim to fame that I have with the Backstreet Boys. I have a Fifth Harmony. What do you do? Know, uh, fifth Harmony. Uh, don't know them. My sister knows them very well, but that'll be very cool. Nikki Jam. Shaggy sounds pretty exciting. Shaggy yeah. is so fun. Yeah, that and sounds he the blows most it exciting. Out. And look, for Craig me. David's back at it. This is gonna be great. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait. You know, my my sister's kind of like chasing me around too, so we keep running yes. into each other at all this kind of stuff. So it'll be really cool. Yeah, we saw you um, not only at our Heart Radio Music Awards presenting um, her, but also at Wango Tango. Yeah. you guys did like. Is there a little sister collab happening anytime soon? She only if she'll have me, dude. She's like, she is cool. You are the I, best big she sister. Is cool yeah, you as are. Ever, but um, I'm her number one fan for sure. That is the sweetest. Yeah. And My we're gosh. your number one fan no, because we totally are. you're the coolest interview we've had in a long time. I know. Cool. Yeah. I do have a quick question for you, and this is a little bit selfish. One of my college friends, her son is now starring in a Disney show called Andy Mack. No way. His name is Asher Angel. Oh, cool. And I just wanted to know if you had any advice for him coming up in that scene. I would say. Um, one, how, how old is he, dude? He's like 14. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. well, the hardest thing is going to be balancing school and work. And I would say 
don't run from it because they'll always catch you. When I was at, on set, mm -hmm. it was the hardest thing trying to balance the school and the work. And I would let it all pile up because I would be so stressed out about like, I got to get my scene right and whatever. And nothing was more important than my teacher because even now I'm so really in touch with my teacher and she's kind of taught me everything. So I think try to find that balance as much as you can and never get lost that one thing is more important than the other because I think the schooling was the most important thing. And it was the thing that kept me the most grounded. Look at so, you. You're giving wow. like great advice. Oh, who is this? Pay What's attention going to school. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in school. I don't know. Wiley, you are the best. It's hard to do both. Yeah, we it's appreciate hard to do both. You so Your much. brain just can't take any more concentration by the end of the day. I it's hear like, you, man. You go, you go and film like an eight page scene and it's like time for history. <laughs> like, oh, God. But I would run from my teacher, physically run. And even though she was like, Sorry, Linda, a little old lady. She would always <laughs> catch me. She would always catch me, so don't run from it, and it's worth it. So sweet. We love you, Miley, Miley Cyrus. Thank you so much. Yay, Linda's going to be pissed. Bye, Miley. <laughs> the Beat of New York. 103.5 KTU.